Dead bird. Dead bird. Where'd be at, Fred? Oh, hi, Fred. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Ho, ho, ho. Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to another one again. Today, we're going on a little farm pond duck hunt. It's been a week and a half, maybe even two weeks, since I've been on a strict water duck hunt. Been getting after the geese in the field, y'all. But right now, it's sitting at 5.30 a.m. We got old Fred with us today. And actually, today's entire video is based around Fred. One of the most requested videos, other than the 410 Goose Hunt Challenge, guys. You guys want that video, I know. I'm gonna try to do it. I just gotta get the right situation to do a 410 Goose Hunt, you know what I mean? Basically, I gotta get the right situation to get them really close so I can actually down them with that small 410 shotgun, you know what I mean? But that video is to come, stay tuned. Today we're gonna slap a GoPro on Fred. I bought a whole GoPro harness for a dog off of Amazon and I hope it fits him good and I hope it works. I was gonna put it on him in a goose field hunt but I'm like, well that's not exciting. We need to put it on him on a water hunt, on a farm pond duck mallard water hunt. You know what I'm saying? It should be interesting seeing his perspective, his view I swim and chasing ducks through the reeds and when they dive on him. It actually might be pretty darn funny, to be honest. But before we get into today's video, check out the Ducks Freedom Mallard hoodie, baby. Look how good it looks. I gave you guys a little sample of this hoodie when I was down at the Ducks warehouse. Slightly showed it to y'all, and a lot of you were like, Bobby, when can I get that hoodie? Today's the day. This hoodie is a limited edition Ducks hoodie only. It's going to be available for two days, y'all. Two days, starting today. Two days and then she is gone and not available again. So 48 hour Freedom Ducks hoodie. You better go down in the description down below, click the link and pick it up before it's gone. Two days guys, that's all you got. So if you wanna buy this for a Christmas gift or something, it is not gonna be available again. Go down below, click the link, pick it up. But enough yapping, um, we gotta get to the pond. I'm gonna put out all three to four dozen floaters, probably one to two mojos like normal. Then we're gonna strap the old GoPro on old Fred Rico. And hopefully it works. Hopefully it fits him good, huh? You got a lot of sleep in your eyes, buddy. You better wake up. Well, here's old Freddy. Today, we got the old GoPro mount on him. I hope it don't fall off. And I hope I don't lose my GoPro, Fred. You ready, dude? Huh? But we are about two minutes away from shooting light here. Got a lovely morning, a good south wind, and it is extremely warm out. I think it's like 59, 60 degrees right now. I still don't see any, it's dark. Well guys, I hope that you can see me. Um, I'm gonna try to film with the big camera here because it's cloudy out today and it is uh, very, very low light. The GoPro, you can't see anything on it, so we're gonna have to wait to slap the GoPro on Fred. Right up front. Right up top. on the south side Andy I was afraid of that because of the wind that we got today well we just had a group of four mallards work us I hope you guys can see it on here I got it propped up behind me uh, but they landed at the south end of the pond we have a strong south wind today it's at about 15 mile an hour so this is usually the hole the ducks want to be at on any wind really so but today they they might want to be on the south end of the pond right over the top Want to shoot? Oh man, what do you do? That's yeah, that's a hard shot. Yeah, I mean we could have shot, but it it would have been a tough one. 
We'll just let her eat next time. I don't care. It's coming from the back. Get ready. I'll shoot him up top. They can't get down right here, I don't think, or something. They're really, they're struggling to get down with this wind over here. Right over the top of you. Yeah, they can't get down. They're looking hard. Get down, ducks. If they come over the top. Wanna shoot them? Dang it. Ah! <laughs> oh, they're just tough. Yeah, they're tough. We can't get them down where we want them, y'all. The wind, the wind is coming straight, basically right here. It's supposed to be a little southeast. It's supposed to basically run the trees here, but it's more just directly south. And the birds are having to come over the trees like this, and they ain't liking it. And we're having to shoot up in the trees like... <laughs> uh, I might have to switch up the spread here. Sit. No bird, Fritz. No bird. Well, we're going to pick up some decoys. I'm just going to pick up all my mallard floaters here and my mojo i'm probably going to leave all my teal and wood duck floaters here but uh fred andy and myself we're gonna move as much as we can and we're gonna go to the south side because it is extremely clear that is where the birds want to be today and if we don't move i don't think we're gonna shoot anything yeah they were they want it bad that wind just ain't allowing them to do it dang it I'm only gonna grab probably about a dozen. We'll call it good. Oh, shoot him, Andy. <laughs> oh, shoot him, Andy. Nice shot. Well, didn't get the GoPro on Fred for that. Ha, but I had the camera on, yes. Man, that's shallow. He He's running the whole way. Look at that. Here, Fred. Good. Let's go. That's a happy dog. Look at him. Well, first bird down. Oh, Andy smoked him. That was a long shot, too. Here. He sit. 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 No. Sit. Give. Holy smokes. That's a big boy, dude. Look how big the head is on that. That's a stud muffin. All right. I'll get this spread up. We're gonna put the spread out here a little a little ways away from the bank. We're on the opposite side of the pond now. I wish we would have sat up over here first and foremost, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta make changes. You gotta take risks, you gotta take gambles, you know what I mean? Hopefully it pays off. Alright. Just chuck them. There's birds. Yeah. That was a good shot. That was a far shot, dude. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> You're over here going, ha, ha. well, I didn't expect that to happen, but you know. What do you got on your back, bud? Huh? What do you got there? Well, I got my GoPro 7 Black. Yeah, not a cheap unit. Got it on Fred's back here. Hopefully we don't lose it. That would be a bad deal. Hopefully we get another duck down. Andy's the only uh, sure shot of the two of us today he's got a stud mallard down i wish we would have been sat up over here originally but at least we switched it up and got one down so far hopefully we're gonna get a good old gopro clip of this guy working but i don't know we still got a lot of morning left a lot of morning left it's early still what time is it 7:29. so we got a lot of morning left i'm glad we moved when we did what happens they come and circle you and then boom yep uh oh uh oh fred that ain't us well got y'all on fred's back hope you can see what's going on
duct up top. Oh, well, I just whiffed bad. Three shells whiffed bad on a spoonie. Um, I was preoccupied with Fred. I took him off the leash I shouldn't have, and he moved and had me all frustrated. I was trying to get the GoPro going. This GoPro situation right here. Every time he shakes, uh, it moves, and then me and Andy are just sitting here cracking up because when he took off, uh, it looked like... With the monkey riding the dog. <laughs> the monkey riding the border collie. That's about what this GoPro looks on the back of old Frederick here. So I hope the footage looks remotely decent. I'm sure it won't. <laughs> that just landed <laughs> set they worked us forever you're still on Fred's back by the way they have worked us forever now they landed over there shoot them oh my god <laughs> all green oh dude they don't want to get close over here well, we're having issues. Uh, that was, I don't think you guys probably seen it. You're on Fred's back still. So I pulled you off. I'm going to put you back on my head. I got Fred here. You got him leashed to the tree. So the plan is if we do down a duck, which we are having a lot of trouble getting the ducks to do it close. We just had a, about a five, six pack of mallards that came in. They look like they're going to do it all the way up in the decoys, but they short stopped us out there. I let the tube just dump all three shells didn't hit anything so what we're gonna do hopefully we can down another bird here and then I'll take the GoPro off slap it on Fred's back and then send him to retrieve the duck that's the plan let's hope it goes that way come on we got a single on the left come on get in here get in here Shoot him. Nice! Finally. I had one shot oh. left. Why are they so hard to shoot today? I don't understand it. Dude, honestly, I we're it. having trouble hitting birds. I find, I don't, Thank I don't get goodness it. you hit him. I had one shot left and, and I was, I had a I branch. Don't I don't know. I don't, I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's send Fred. He's ready to go. I mean, I'm watching. All right, we got you on Fred. Come on, Fred. Dead bird. Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Go find that bird. We got a dead bird, Fred. Get him. Dead bird, Fred. Dead bird. Got him! How are we missing? Dude, because he's far. Look how far he landed out, yeah. dude. I mean, that was a 35-yard shot, you I'm know? Just, I took the GoPro off, Fred. That last one, 
Uh, good, here Fred, here, let's go. That last duck about lost the GoPro a couple times. This is a GoPro 7 Black, it's not cheap. I can't afford to lose my camera gear. It's kind of been a pain in the butt, me trying to run the GoPro on Fred, but we just had a greenhead do it on us. Took everything me and Andy had. Here Fred, here, let's go. To get him down, it's been tough. Here Fred, they don't want to decoy real, real good today. Here. Looky there, what do you got bud? Set, set, give. Good boy, good boy Frederick. That would have been a good one to send him on with the GoPro, but like I said, the harness that I got, it doesn't stay real tight and it wallers around bad. I'm hoping the footage that we got is good enough for y'all right? because that GoPro just, it literally looks like a monkey on Fred's back. But if you guys are liking the video, give Frederick a big old thumbs up. He deserves it. Nice! We got all three of them, baby. Woo! Good Fred, here. Dead bird, here. Oh, well then go get the far duck, dude. Just bring one back. Dead bird. Good, here. Here. Let's go. Come on. Here, Fred. Let's go, heel. 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 Set. Hey, my bird. Fred, dead bird. See him over there? He, he went right into the yep. edge right there. Yep. See him? Dead bird. Let's go. Here. Finally, okay, he's, he's still going that way. Here, here, here. Come on. He's still got an eye on it. Here, here, here. Here's here. Set. Set. My bird. Oh, that's a good looking widgeon right yeah, there. Pretty. He might have to wring his neck. Pretty. All right, we got to go get that other bird, Fred. He's over wearing them cattails. Three widgeon. Woo! Man, they're not decoying close. Uh, the one that actually landed, well, here you go. Feathers on the feathers on the water right there. That's a far shot. That's a good 35 yarder, every bit of it. That last one, we smacked him at about 45, 50 yards. That's the one we got to go pick up. Man, these ones that land over here and getting these cattails. Huh? They getting these cattails. They like to dive on you. I'm hoping we don't lose this widgeon. He's still alive, he's diving. Watch for him to come out over there. There he is. He's right there. He's right here, there he is. Come up. Where's he? Fred, dead widgeon in here. He's playing peekaboo on us, Fred. Where's he at? He's in here. There he is. There he is. Got him. Hey, good boy, Fred. Come on, buddy. Good boy, Fred. We got him. That's a good looking widgeon. You little sucker. He kept playing hide and go seek with us. Woo! Wore me out. Woo! There we go, though. Check out the head on that guy. Good looking widget. Good job, Fred. He's gonna be a worn out unit today. Good boy. Guys, it ain't all about lambing it out. It's about getting out here and enjoying it like this. Get out there with a buddy. It don't matter how many you shoot. Get out there and enjoy the duck hunting season while it's here. This gonna be gone quick. Oh, dude, they're so far out there. The widgeon, another widgeon just landed. Look where he landed. That's that is every bit of. It's a 40 yard, 45 yard freaking shot. We're winning. We are winning. Actually, we're not doing too bad. You know, what do we have down? I got one, two, three, four. We six total. We have six total. So, not too bad for a little two-man two hunt here, but we've had trouble with the ducks wanting to shortstop us and land out in the middle of the pond. That's been the typical problem of the day. God, he's gonna stop right there. That's as close as he's gonna come. <laughs> Doesn't it make you mad? It's frustrating. It's getting later in the morning. We're probably only going to be here for maybe another 15, 20 minutes. 
every duck that has came has not loved it at all so i'm gonna pull the mojo I'm gonna see if that helps if this is uh if this is the reason i'm gonna be mad at myself that i didn't do this earlier something isn't working try to try to figure out what it is just like the mojo nothing's working try something different you never know it might help these ducks they're comfy on here they've probably been here for a while so maybe the spinning wings on this here old spinner decoy might just be too much for him you know andy just pile drived a big old greenie in the decoys i didn't get the camera on first bird to see the spread since i've removed the mojo and he landed in the decoys the the closest shot all day didn't have the gopro going good job bob so just like that though uh proof in the pudding if something ain't working pull a mojo try something you know Hopefully we'll get one more to do it like that. Probably not. Well, we're all picked up here and I wanna show you guys the pond. Here she is. We're standing up, up on top where we park. And as you can tell, it's in a deep, deep hole. Completely surrounded by trees. This morning we were sat right here and we ended up moving all the way over there. And thank goodness we did because if we hadn't moved, I don't think we would have shot anything but maybe, maybe one widgeon. There was two widgeons that landed in there, actually one. So we might have got a shot at a widgeon or two, but other than that, if we hadn't have moved, we wouldn't have shot anything. Now, I am kind of kicking myself in the butt because I wish I would have pulled the mojo a lot earlier. I didn't get the GoPro on for that last mallard that Andy shot. But that was the first duck that came to the spread since I had removed the mojo and he loved it. He came all the way to the bank and landed in the decoy spread. So guys, it just goes to show, try something different if something's not working. Look what time it is. Look who's waiting outside. <laughs> Are you excited, Fred? Oh! His favorite time of day. Oh yeah, buddy. Hey, Fred. There you go, Frederick. There you go, buddy. You're a good boy today. Yes, you were. Well, we are obviously back home. Uh, my hands are disgusting. Just got done cleaning birds. Uh, today, I don't know how well the GoPro footage came out of Fred looking like he had a monkey on his back, but I hope it came out decent. I was really hoping that we were gonna be able to down a duck and then Fred go get it with it on his back, but we almost lost it a couple times. The GoPro actually almost fell off. Hey man, what are you doing out here in your underwear? Say hi to the camera. Say hi to everybody, look at his little face. He fell yesterday, poor guy. Poor Bodie Allen, show him your little lip. Show him your lip, Bubba, did you scrape it up? Yeah. yeah. Poor guy. He took a little fall yesterday, didn't you, bub? Poor little man. I hate that. That is the one of the, that is one of the worst things. I've had it happen with both of my children now. They'll take, you know, a good old digger on the concrete or on the asphalt road and just whoosh. It happens to the best of us, bub. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a good little hunt. It's always fun getting out with Andy on his pond and shooting some widgeon and mallards. It's crazy, every time we go there, that's what we usually shoot is green heads and widgeon every single time. And every single time, the green heads are studs. Go, bub! Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you are like, oh my goodness, he's outside in his underwear. I have a hoodie on, as you can tell, but I'm pretty sure it's like 65, 70 degrees out right now. We're supposed to have a big cold front coming this week. Actually, when this video comes up, the cold front would have already came and gone. But again, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And guys, you gotta let me know down in the comment section below what y'all wanna see. You guys requested that, <laughs> did I scare you about? Hey, I'm sorry. You guys requested that I put a GoPro on old Frederick here. And we did. I don't, I don't think it works that well. The GoPro is just so floppy. If y'all know of a different type of GoPro mount for dogs, that it is actually secure and stationary, drop a link down in the comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Because I'd like to be able to do it and for it to look good, you know what I mean? Whoa, Bob, whoa! Little boys, aren't they the cutest? 
but subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the Ducks American Mallard hoodie is only available for two days. A 48 hour sell and then she gonna be gone. So if you guys like the hoodie, I recommend you go down in the description, hit the link and go pick it up. Two days, that's all. But until next time, peace.